You're watching Study with Sudhir. This is your digital classroom. I'm T.S. Sudhir. I hope all of you are doing well. 2020 has been a rather difficult year or perhaps to call it a challenging year would be the more appropriate term to use. Irrespective of which board you students are studying in, it could be the CBSC, it could be the ICSC or any of the state boards in the country. The challenge before you students now is to have the right perspective. What to study and what to leave out. What is useful from the point of view of learning and what is useful from an examination point of view, right? Now, in the last 10 odd days that I took a break, I have received umpteen number of mail asking for recommendations for reference books. Everyone is anxious to know if what they are studying from is really the right and appropriate study material. That's a concern many students seem to be having. And these requests have come for varied subjects. They have come for mathematics, they have come for history, civics, they have come for geography, they have come for the science subjects, even computer applications. So I had mentioned in an earlier video, which I had done about two or three weeks back, that I would be recommending both books, useful books to read, also reference books right and you can look at the past videos where I have recommended some reference books but today I am going to go beyond recommending a book and focus on NCRT exemplars. Now what are NCRT exemplars? To my mind they are excellent tools for CBSE students. Today my focus is on the subjects of mathematics and science right because in the online class format and this is what I have found after talking to many teachers as well as students, students are facing the maximum problems in these two subjects of mathematics and the science subjects because both do not actually lend themselves to an online style of teaching, especially science. You can teach history, civics, geography, English, etc. in an online format, right? Because you don't need too many digital tools, but it's rather difficult or rather challenging to teach physics or biology in an online format and I'm sure all you students agree with that. Now let's come to NCRT exemplars. What exactly are NCRT exemplars? They are basically practice material designed to prepare the student, especially the CBSC student, both in terms of understanding the concepts, also preparing the student for the examination. So the ideal combination, what I call a jugalbandi, is when you use the NCRT textbook followed by the NCRT exemplar, okay, one after the other. In fact, data over the last few years has shown that NCRT exemplars account for more than 40% of the questions that come in the board examinations, okay. That's a very, very significant percentage. So the best way to do well is to practice chapter-wise from both the NCRT textbooks first and then the NCRT exemplars. Now the questions that you will find in these exemplars which I strongly recommend you should use make it part of your entire study process is that the questions are both of medium level as well as a higher level. Okay so they prepare you accordingly and go stage by stage. So practicing those questions and more importantly solving them the right way that's important mark my words solving them the right way is the key really to score well in the board examinations because they also teach you the exact way as it is expected to be done in the board examinations, right? Now, the other related point is that the Union HRD Ministry had spoken about the Diksha platform for students to practice chapter-wise uh, in a circular that it released sometime in February 2020. Now, I will also suggest that you look at the questions uh, on the Diksha platform because they are, I am told, prepared by senior teachers who teach at different Kendra Vidyalaya schools across the country. Okay, so they come with a lot of experience in framing the questions as per the CBSC format. Now, due to COVID-19, as you know, access to teachers to help on questions is obviously not very easy. They are not available to you except in the online class. What you really need at this point in time is a book or books that provide you with clear solutions to all these NCRT questions as well as the questions that are there on this Diksha platform. The book 
that I have looked at very closely over the last few days and read from and therefore recommend because here on study with Sudhir we recommend books which we have read and used okay uh, is this one uh, which comes from the NCRT exemplar from Educart okay this is the one on mathematics and this is the one on science okay these are two separate books on mathematics and science now as you also know that the syllabus has been reduced for the year 2020-21 okay so what this particular publisher has smartly done is to help students by publishing a chart of all those questions which you can leave out for this particular academic year 2021 uh, so that is done so you just need to look at the chart and you will know what exactly you do not need to study as per the revised syllabus now let's cut, come down to specifics in mathematics they have provided well written solutions and that's what i found and i also asked they just we need to check this out so that i have two people checking this out as to how sound uh, and good this particular book is so they have well written solutions with alternate methods to difficult questions to help you crack the questions better now let's come to science in science what i noticed was that they provide the supporting theory whether it is chemistry or physics or biology and also useful definitions so as you get the answer to the particular question they also give you a useful definition so that at the same time your mind registers as to what that entire concept is all about so uh, you're looking at the concept you're looking at the solution at the same time right uh, the top diksha platform questions in fact each one of them has something called a diksha 2.0 so that is something which will also be very useful because what is happening is that they have been included chapter wise in these two books and that's a unique feature of this book which i don't think is available in any other book right now in the market so having used these two ncrt exemplars uh, i'm recommending these two books for you today uh, those of you who are interested in buying them especially the cbsc students can do so by looking at the link in the description box so that it makes it easier for you for those of you interested in buying uh, would this be useful for icsc and state board students the answer is yes and no and why i say that no from an examination point of view but yes definitely from an understanding of concepts point of view and also to test how good you are in having understood the concept because the concepts and the basic fundas are pretty similar whether it's physics or biology or chemistry right maths the standard may be a little different so that is as far as these two ncrt exemplars which should definitely be part of your study material is what i strongly recommend thank you very much for watching god bless you